the day that the dope man sold me some fish food. This was before I picked up the needle. I was still sniffing at this point in time in the game. And I was broke. I barely scrounged up the 20 that I needed to call the connect, to call the plug. So it went a little something like this. Yo, you around? What's good, you straight? Yeah, let me get one of them boy. All right, then I'm gonna slide. So me and my brother slid. I picked up one whole bag. I'll never forget it. It was dark out. Um, my brother Robbie was with me. Robbie has since overdosed and died on uh, fentanyl. We slide through the old spot out in East Lee County, Florida. And old boy's girlfriend or wife, baby mama, was the connect, right? And he was sort of a buddy just like I was. You know, he was all just smoking crack and sniffing dope, shooting dope, just scumming and bumming kind of thing. His name was Joe. So we slid over to the spot and go grab it. So it wasn't too far from the crib. We go by the house, hand-to-hand -hand transaction. It's dark real quick. I'm hurting and I'm in the bag and I get my keys out, I get my keys out and I hit that bag and I'm like, I'm like, that smells weird. But like a dumbass, instead of inspecting the bag, I keep going. Because we all know a 20 a boy is, is super small. I mean, it's like a flat fingernails worth of dope in one of them little ass bags. So I sniffed the whole 20 real quick because I was hurting and I'm like, what the fuck is that? My brother's like, you all right, dog? I'm like, dude, that dope smells weird, right? Because me being a heroin junkie, if it smelled like pickles or it smelled like a little bit of gas, or whatever, right? Um, being a drug user, you typically can relate that smell to being of quality, right? Because when you smell something, one of your senses are heightened. So I sniffed the shit, didn't even realize that this time it was fish food. I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. I'm like, dog, what the fuck is this? I'm like, Rob, you pull over right quick, even though we was just a couple blocks from the crib. I look at it and I hold it up to the light and there's like green particles in it, like little little dots, little polka dots of green. Lo and behold, I managed to snort a $20 bag of fish food. At this point in time, now my brother's laughing because we're at the house. I'm in the sink, I'm using water, I'm trying to get everything up out the nose. Like you know how a night worth of sniffing, you used to hit the water to, to get that last drain, get it all to go down? This smell would not come out of my nose. I used Pepsi, I used orange juice, I used any liquid that I could get my hands on. It got to the point I was squirting Windex on my finger and doing like this. And I could not get the smell of fish food out of my nose. So I call T and I'm like, what the fuck, T? Your man just sold me some fish food. Nah, 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 Joe want to do you like that. I'm like, T, Joe just sold me some fucking fish food. I buy 40, 50 bags a week from you. I don't even have a job. I'm a heroin junkie. Somehow, magically, I'm scheming, scamming, robbing, lying, plotting, manipulating, trifling moves. I buy 40, 50 bags a day or a week off you, T. Joe just sold me some fucking fish food. Oh, I'll make it right. I'll make it right. I woke up the next morning. I could still smell fish food. All I could fucking taste for like a day straight was fish food. I don't know what he did. I think he took them powdered flakes. You know, like when you feed the tropical fish, you grab like a pinch of the flake and you drop it in the tank and it disperses. I think he put a drop or two of water on that kind of fish food. At this point in time, my brother is just laughing. He thinks it's the funniest shit ever. I'm dope sick. I'm trying to get my nose hole cleaned out. Now I'm getting the drip and the drain. So now I got the shit in my throat. Uh, mom cooked dinner, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I'm eating meatloaf and mashed potatoes. It tastes like rotten ass fish. I might as well have drank water from a shrimp bucket in Southwest Florida. These are the stupid ass things 
the heroin users do. These are the stupid ass stories from a diary of a junkie. I don't have to live like that no more. I'm approaching six years. Man, what a crazy story, right? And I've got so many more stories like this. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this one. Moral of the story is don't do drugs. At that time, I probably should have turned the light on and inspected it because Joe was a little bit like us. We was on the fucking strung out, do whatever, you know? But maybe that was karma for the other stupid shit that I did being an active drug user. I challenge you, family, get off them drugs. I challenge you, family, find hope. Stop trying to find so much dope. Everybody's dying. I challenge you to go out there and get your shit straight. I challenge you not to buy a 20 a boy, sniff it, and it smell like fish assholes for a day or two. Taste like fish assholes for a day or two. Thank you so much for being here. We have upgraded the studio. We have upgraded the equipment. We are down.